Hi friends, this is Sarah from SundaySchoolNetwork.com. I've titled today's devotional, No Barriers, Come Boldly. After two and a half years, the pandemic restrictions at my husband's daycare have finally been lifted. No buzzers to be buzzed or temperature checks to enter. The clear plexiglass partitions and masks that had separated clients and staff are gone. Finally, there's a return to normal. Today, there were no barriers. We walked right in. The same week, the eyes of the world have been on the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The pomp and circumstance of her state funeral was remarkable. It is encouraging to know that one of the longest reigning monarchs had a deep faith in Jesus. Recently, she said, Throughout my life, the message and teachings of Christ have been my guide, and in them I find hope. While she lived, only those closest to the queen, or those approved, could come into her presence. Even as she was laid to rest, there was a hierarchy as to where people sat, ranging from the most important to the least, and the very least were out in the street. The same is also true for our USA royals. Most of us do not have access to our dignitaries. This is to be expected in our world. Yet, did you know that before Jesus came to earth, God's children did not have direct access to God either? They had to go through a mediator, the priests and high priest, to be forgiven of their sins and accepted by God. But now, because of Jesus' death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead, there are no barriers. Those who trust in Jesus are given the right to enter into God's holy throne room. We won't be pushed back or put in the street. We can present our request to the King of Kings, and in that honorable place, we will receive mercy and grace in our time of need. We can enter in, not sheepishly or in fear or even with pride. No, we can come with boldness and confidence, knowing that we are forgiven and our petitions heard. Assuredly, not all our requests will be granted according to our plans. That could become a disaster. God loves us and knows the plans he has for us. Let us look to Jesus and seek his will, and let us encourage one another with these welcoming words. Come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you for opening the way into your holy presence. Thank you for forgiving my sins. Help me to frame my life and prayers according to your will and help me to hold firmly to the faith I profess. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, what bold request will you bring into God's throne room today? I'd love to hear from you. God bless you.